Cheers, guys. Epix911, welcome to the Elitist Geek. And uh, today's video. Now, I don't normally get too fucking pissed off and emotional about shit. I'm actually a pretty even keel, tempered kind of guy. But I'm the kind of guy, I've got a long fucking fuse. Long fucking fuse. But when that fucking fuse goes off, it's a hella big fucking explosion. I am so absolutely fucking furious and pissed off at this moment to that company. Right fucking there. Or what's left of them. The Atari that I know would never, ever sink to the fucking depths that this new soul-sucking, destroying, corporate, troll lawyer organization has stooped to. And that is to sue Jeff Minter. Now, a lot of you young people, you may not have a fucking clue who Jeff Minter is. You may have seen some psychedelic games on your tablets recently. You know, that guy's a little eccentric. You may have even played the games and liked them. Most of his games are animal-themed, undulates to be specific, yaks and camels to be more specific. But the point is, is Jeff Minter has always been about doing his own thing. Atari used to have those same values. Like Trip Hawkins' Electronic Arts era, Atari was a place to be creative. It was a place where game programmers <laughs> did creative things, like embed their names in Easter eggs because at first they couldn't get credited in games. Activision was was a splinter development group, basically ex-Atari employees that went to do their own thing. But Atari learned from its lessons. It released hella awesome arcade games, fantastic computers, and arguably the most popular or instrumental console of its time, the Atari 2600. You primarily have seen Atari nowadays as just being a publisher. You know, the few titles that they managed to kind of push out the door, Neverwinter Nights and some other titles, but they are a far cry from what they were before. Much in the same way that, um, you know, other companies uh, are just a shell of what they were. But to go after Jeff Minter is just unfrickin' believable. Some background. Drink first. Jeff Minter, like I said, he's a bit of an eccentric programmer. Super nice guy. He uh, lives in Wales. He has always programmed games that had fantastic gameplay. They might not have been the most elaborate games in terms of you know having storylines. They weren't. They were primarily shooters. You know, he did Clones of Defender, admittedly, Clones of Tempest, and all these games in the 80s. And he was, for the most part, a one-man show. He did the programming, he did the art, he did the music, if there was any music. Um, or, when he could afford it, he licensed out music. But the point is, he had that indie spirit before there was such a thing as, as an indie game developer. Jeff Minter was indie in the early 80s and he continued to be indie i put jeff minter right up there with jeff vogel in terms of you know the successful single programmer does all entrepreneur they've both been around for several decades they've both programmed to the beat of their own eccentric fucking drum and while vogel went down the rpg path jeff minter stayed true to the shooter path we all know the game Tempest. Even kids nowadays will, will probably recognize it. It's not as iconic by any means as Donkey Kong or Mario Brothers, but it's almost instantly recognizable, certainly my generation. If you grew up in the arcades, you knew Tempest 
because it was a spinner game. It didn't use a joystick. You used an actual dial spinner. Uh, it was an amazing game. It was Vectrex based as opposed to bitmap based, which meant it used you know, primitive line drawing algorithms and, and line drawing output library to make the game. The engine was completely Vectrex based. They even had their own monitors, Vectrex games back then, because CRT monitors couldn't display the fine lines and map points in the same way. It looked, it looked clumsy on a CRT TV. But anyways, Tempest was super popular. And then it kind of faded into obscurity as, as the 80s arcade games gave way to the fighters of the 90s. Tempest was all but forgotten, if not for Jeff Minter. You see, there was a little console that not many people will remember called the Atari Jaguar, and it was Atari's last death knell. It was their last gasp to be relevant as a hardware manufacturer. Forget about computers, consoles, any of that. This was Atari's last gambit, and ultimately they would fail. But it wasn't for lack of some really quality titles. They didn't have third-party support, and you could do a day-long episode on why Atari and ultimately the Jaguar failed. But the one game that almost everybody remembers was programmed single-handedly, almost single-handedly, by Jeff Minter, and that game was Tempest 2000. Tempest 2000 kept... Tempest relevant. Throughout the upcoming decade and two decades since, he's done other versions of that game. Uh, one for a Neon Machine, which I believe was the late 90s. And he's done versions of it for handhelds. He's done his Space Giraffe, uh, you know, versions of Defender. Inspired by, absolutely. Not a peep. Not a thing. He releases TXK, which, yes, of course, it's based off the spirit of Tempest. The spirit that he helped create. And I get it, Atari. You don't have any fucking revenue. So you got to become corporate, bloodthirsty lawyer trolls to make payroll, to make revenue. Is, is that what you've really fucking devolved into? There are millions of gamers right now abuzz on the net that can't fucking believe, and this is directed squarely at you now, Atari, that cannot believe what you have just done. And we will not support you. In fact, we will completely support Jeff Minter. And I know, for one, I'm definitely going to donate if there's a defense fund in his name, because this is utter and complete bullshit. Atari, you should be fucking ashamed, absolutely ashamed of yourself. I thought the company that EA had turned into post Trip Hawkins was bad and soulless and greedy. But holy fuck, Atari, you have actually, on my hate list, you have managed to surpass Electronic Arts. And that's no mean feat. That is no fucking mean feat, but you have done it. You have surpassed Electronic Arts in terms of asshattery in terms of shit fuck stupidity in terms of just pure conniving greed to go after Jeff Minter the guy lives on a fucking acreage he's got farm animals he basically works <laughs> and keeps himself afloat with programming that's his trade he's kept these old games relevant for you for you Atari People wouldn't fucking know what Tempest is anymore if it wasn't for Jeff Minter. And you have the audacity, the fucking gall, to sue him? Are you fucking out of your mind? You are suing Jeff Yak Minter. That has to be the most incredibly boneheaded, stupid PR move ever ever 
And trust me, there's been some fucking epic blunders out there. But to go after Jeff Minter for TXK, to put his livelihood into jeopardy, we're not talking about a rich programmer here. We're talking about a programmer who probably makes enough to just get by. And that's no through no fault of his own. It's because he's propagated his his love for old games, much as I have in my arcade hobby. I love those old games, and he does too. And programming for him is, is about bringing that to a new generation. Could he sell out and, and do some other kind of programming? Absolutely. But he does this because he loves this. And you sue him for a game he kept relevant. is just mind-fucking-boggling. Absolutely. Anyways, guys... I'm going to have a follow-up video on something a little more happy, a little more positive, but I really want to know what your thoughts are on this. Is there anybody out there as livid as me? You know, again, I can understand if you're not, if you're young, or even you're my age and you think he's in the wrong. But I want to hear your side of it. Tell me why. Because where I'm fucking sitting, this is pure corporate greed. This isn't about protecting a trademark. This isn't about protecting copyright. He didn't steal any of your code. He didn't call the game Tempest. He didn't even copy... The game he created is better than the original. Is it inspired by it? Absolutely. fucking lootly The playstyle is almost the same. But it's so much better. It, it is the essence of what Jeff is. Is what TXK is. I'm really curious how this is going to uh, evolve over the next few weeks. Uh, Jeff Minter shared his PDF, a PDF version of the lawsuit, or not lawsuit, but basically the, the legal threat. And it's just ridiculous what's in there. I mean, telling him he wasn't the primary you know, programmer of Tempest 2000 when... It was pretty much single-handedly done by him, and all of his games are like that. He's one of those old-school programmers that doesn't need a team of 30, 40. He does it by hand, uh, pretty much by himself. Now, he's got a business partner, and he's in on, the, on some of the stuff now, the music and graphics, I believe. But either way, uh, to go after him, just astounding. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. I'm, I'm super curious. Uh, leave your comments below. As always, cheers, and hopefully uh, next time some better positive news. But I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys and give you give you my two cents on it. Cheers.